Okay, so we're over here at the car. So there's a few other things uh, to talk about uh, over here. So number one, we'll talk about uh, the valley cover bolts. <clears throat> the floor of the Dorman LS2 intake manifold is closer to the valley cover than the LS6, which is also closer to the floor um, to the valley cover than the uh, stock LS1 because the stock LS1s have uh, steam vent lines that route front to, to rear. <clears throat> if you swap from the LS1 to the LS6, uh, you typically have to shave the bottom of the, uh, there's some webbing on the bottom of the LS6 intake manifold. You can typically clear that uh, and then still have a little bit of room uh, for your steam vent lines. <sighs> Once you go to the Dorman LS2 intake manifold, um, there is no room under there to the point that um, the heads of the bolts become an issue in the, the height. So obviously, <clears throat> I've swapped from the LS1 valley cover to the 0405 updated uh, LS6 valley cover, <clears throat> which changes my uh, PCV lines and that sort of thing, but we won't get into that. So these are the valley cover bolts that uh, come with the valley cover. The Dorman intake manifold, if I can get this where you can see it, comes with these pan head um, five millimeter hex drive uh, valley cover bolts because <clears throat> they are a lower profile. I don't know how well you can you can see that, but they they're lower profile. However, uh, these the heads of these bolts really suck. The torque spec for the valley cover is 18 foot-pounds, but that little 5 millimeter hex drive uh, doesn't even get close to 18 foot-pounds before it begins to strip uh, and spin inside the, uh, the hex there. So that really sucks, and I didn't want to get them on there and then not be able to get them off uh, at some future point because they were stripped out. <clears throat> so I went to Lowe's because <clears throat> these are just a standard... Um, threaded bolts. It's an M8 by 1.25 uh, thread pitch and they are 25 30 millimeters long um, <clears throat> and I just got some class 8.8 .8, um, standard hex head uh, bolts so <clears throat> that you can get the proper uh, torque on these and these uh, you may want to take uh, one of these with you but these are a just slightly lower profile uh, than the factory valley cover bolts, uh, but it makes a difference. <clears throat> You'll see if you begin uh, test fitting that intake manifold uh, on here with the, the factory valley cover bolts, uh, it won't sit uh, flush. It actually sits up on them. So the clearances under there are very tight. I actually used a, a little piece of clay on top of the, uh, the bolt head, kind of like you would do for uh, checking uh, piston the valve clearance just to see how much clearance I actually had in there <clears throat> and it is very very little um, so you do have to do something different with the bolts I just don't like the pan head bolts that come with the the Dorman uh, intake okay <clears throat> so let's talk about the steam vent lines so uh, if you have a uh, LS any any motor that has the LS6 intake on it from the factory you only had a front uh, steam vent line <clears throat> That will have some clearance issues with the intake manifold. Uh, particularly is because you get this great big 90 millimeter snout on the front of it. <clears throat> and that takes up more real estate than the 75 millimeter snout uh, took up. So you have to hammer this downward just a little bit. Um, it sat up just a little bit higher. So just lightly, um, I took a, a wrench and a little mallet and I just tapped this down. Just a little bit. Uh, you don't want to crack the line or, or damage how it fits uh, into the fitting blocks. <clears throat> but you, you will need some clearance uh, up here. I'm also choosing to open up my rear uh, steam vent ports in the back. So this is a front crossover from the GM trucks. It's like a $30, $35 piece. <clears throat> and the nice thing about it, so you see this this one back here it has the fitting on the front that points forward 
Well, if you spun this around and used it in the back, then it would be pointing uh, to the back. And you've got a lot of lines uh, that run back here. What's nice about the trunk version is that the outlet port is over here and it points upward. Uh, and it's at the end. <clears throat> so you can run a um, coolant line from back here, tie it to the front, uh, and tie all, all these together. That's great and all. However, again back here, you'll have clearance issues uh, with the back of that Dorman uh, LS2 intake manifold. <clears throat> so what I was able to do, um, again I took a wrench and I you know, I forked it over the open end over this uh, the line and then I lightly tapped from this direction backwards <clears throat> and I was able to bend it you know, towards the, the back cow just enough that I got the clearance <clears throat> um, back here behind this. So again, this is all tight clearances back here. Um, and don't hit it too hard because you don't want to crush this line, <clears throat> but you can get the clearance and uh, run this rear crossover. And of course, this is that the, uh, the vacuum line that runs your HVAC controls. Okay, we'll talk about one more spot uh, that you're going to have some clearance issues. <clears throat> and that's between uh, the water pump and again this great big 90 millimeter snout that's on the front of this intake manifold. So, you'll have some clearances, clearance issues uh, down here along the bottom. And then right here there's kind of a, a boss here on the, uh, the water pump uh, that comes up where this bolt goes through. Uh, that create some clearance issues too. <clears throat> so I took my Dremel with uh, one of those uh, carbide uh, grinding uh, bits on it and I shaved actually uh, all three pieces here so both the water pump, the intake manifold and I'll show you the bottom of the throttle body <clears throat> I clearanced uh, all three pieces just a little bit. I didn't want to take too much out of any any one piece. <clears throat> There's a, a seam it runs along here on the uh, the water pump. Uh, it's a casting seam, so it ran uh, along here. So I ground uh, that down so that that was smooth. That opened up a little clearance here on the water pump. I clearance quite a bit uh, on this boss that comes up uh, for the bolt. And I probably could have taken more, but I didn't want to get uh, too aggressive. <clears throat> then I also shaved just a little bit along the bottom of the intake manifold. Again, you don't want to take too much. There's a, uh, a rubber gasket, kind of an O-ring, that fits here in this groove. So you don't want to get this space in here um, too thin because you don't want it to, uh, to crack or anything. Um, but you don't have to leave all of it there either. So you can grind just a, a little bit. And then I actually did a little custom grinding uh, up over here to make a little bit more room around uh, this boss here. So I shaved it both along the bottom, and then uh, I ground in a bit right there. And then I also shaved the bottom of the throttle body, what would be the bottom uh, along here as well, just to make sure I had proper clearance um, to the water pump. <clears throat> the Dorman kit also comes uh, with some spacers and bolts. Uh, it's, you know, your application may uh, vary a little bit, because uh, obviously... The Corvettes use a drive-by-wire uh, throttle body. Uh, some other applications use, uh, you know, a traditional throttle body cable. <clears throat> and it, it is, um, you got some slots here, so you could bolt the, the throttle body uh, cable, throttle cable here on, on the side. Uh, so it is set up to run that sort of uh, throttle body. But it also has some spacers uh, for the uh, power steering reservoir. Uh, just depends on what... <clears throat> things are in the way on various applications um, but you do have a few components there in the kit um, to help you move some stuff around so and I don't even know if you can really see it um, but this is that bottom edge all right throttle body mounts like this here's that bottom edge uh, that I hit with the grinder just a little bit um, to open up a little bit of clearance um, again you don't want to do uh, too much but I did take just a little bit of material off of this as well uh, to make sure I had proper clearance down here uh, one final point I'll mention, so that as you're planning ahead, you get everything you need. Um, the total distance forward of the Dorman LS2 intake manifold with the LS2 
90 millimeter throttle body, it doesn't sit as far forward as the LS6 intake manifold with the BBK 80 millimeter throttle body and the throttle body spacer that sits behind it. What that means, so you've got the air bridge coming across here. I needed a longer coupler that would go from the throttle body to the air bridge. Uh, it needed to be one inch longer, uh, which is cheap. It's just a, I needed a three inch coupler versus a two inch coupler uh, that I had. And you can find those on uh, Amazon for less than 20 bucks. Um, but do account for that. Um, you may need some additional room um, or length in that coupler depending on your application. So uh, just give that a little bit of thought uh, as well. Uh, I hope this helps. hope this gives you an idea of some of the clearance and, and fitment issues uh, that you may run into. Um, it's not a strictly bolt-on affair, uh, but it does work. And as long as you plan ahead um, and have all your extension harnesses, and know where you're going to put your map sensor and know what throttle body you need. Um, as long as you line all these things up ahead of time and know how you're going to run your steam vent lines, um, you know, all these components, <clears throat> it will go on without too much work. Um, though it won't be a strictly bolt on affair, but at a fraction of the price of, uh, say, one of the fast intake manifolds. Even though they're very nice, but it's not in everybody's budget uh, to spend six, eight hundred thousand dollars or better. Um, on an intake manifold. So anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, hit me up. <clears throat> uh, I will mention this does come with its own uh, intake manifold gaskets, both for the throttle body and for the uh, intake runners. Uh, so those are included, um, which is nice. You don't have to buy that separate. So anyway, um, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. As always, um, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Um, YouTube's really finicky these, these days uh, about who it shows your videos to. And if you don't have people subscribe, then it doesn't, you don't pop up in uh, suggested videos and, and that sort of thing. So if you click subscribe, I really appreciate it. Uh, it helps me with the videos uh, and it doesn't cost you anything. And you get to find out uh, when I post new stuff. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.